Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I'm running out of garden space in my existing garden. I'll let you into a little secret. What I'm going to do with this area here is always just littered around with pots and it gets hard to maintain in terms of cutting the grass and stuff like that. So I'm going to turn this whole area, all of this up to the chicken house, all of this into a garden. And I'm going to start planting into here. I need some more growing space. I need to get these, I need to find a home for these kohlrabi. So yeah, that's going to, that's going to be a project. So I'll show you what we're doing with this. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> so I'm on my project of turning this area into uh, additional growing space. I mean, once it's clear, it just looks like a massive space, a really nice open space now. I want to turn it into a garden because it just ends up looking like a mess and looking like a jungle. We've got this area here where there's a massive hedge that I wanted to cut down. But the sad thing is my hedge trim has just blown up. Absolutely gutted because it happened towards the end of last year. So I bought a new engine and I fitted a new engine on it. So it should have lasted me a good few more years. I should have noticed something a few days ago. I saw some petrol in the shed floor um, and I just thought that a tank had been leaking. So I thought I'd fix it. I'd t change the tank when I get round to it. And I've just opened it up now or I've tried to turn it on and it's just the whole engine's just seized so that's I'm absolutely I'm, I'm not happy I'm, I'm absolutely gutted because um, it's only lasted me less than a, it's lasted me less than a season literally uh, sort of summertime it's probably been about eight nine months that I've had it at the new engine and it's just seized up and uh, it's just it's frustrating it's really is frustrating See, what I wanted to do was I wanted to trim this hedge behind me, mulch it all down with a lawnmower, and then um, just sheep mulch over it and start my new garden. It's just one of those things that, do you know when you can't... Yeah, when, when things are going... Mm, it's just frustrating, man. I'm just absolutely gutted. Because I just didn't need it right now. I just didn't need the additional expense right now. I think what I'll do is I'll cut the grass and I'll collect the grass from the rest of the garden and I'll just use that to mul mulch this area and I'll just chuck some wood chips on top um, and see what that does. But let's keep going and see what happens. So a few days ago, one of my neighbours, he dropped off a load of hedge trimmings and leaves and stuff. So I stuck that on the compost heap. So because I can't get my hedge trimmings, um, I've just piled that all onto the ground. I've just gone and raided the compost heap. Um, I've pulled a little little bit of other nasty stuff over as well. Um, I'm just going to spread this out and I'm going to lawnmower this and mulch it. One of the good things about this lawnmower is it's got a mulching function. And because it's got the mulching function, it can just it just spits out everything out the back. Um, so I'm going to just kick this around, spread it nice and thin. And then I'm going to get on it with the lawnmower. Yuck. It's a good job I'm not wearing my best clothes. Otherwise I'd be covered in this nastiness. It's been raining a lot and my compost pile's not, not covered. So it's gone a little bit stale. It... And I haven't had a chance to turn it, otherwise I could have sorted it out. Not to worry, I'll fix it. I mean, there's a few nasty onions that are rotting in here that smell a bit. But I'll mulch this down and we'll get, and we'll, we'll start on the sheep mulching next. I don't want to dig it over. I mean, the ground's starting to harden up. Within a few days of sun in June, already the ground's starting to become like concrete. Oh, it looks like my reinforcements have just arrived. So, the, so my nephews, my wife's away and the kids are away. But my nephew's here. Wa alaikum as salam Hi. So my nephews are here and I think they're gonna come and they're gonna come and lend a hand. You right boys, you gonna help? Yeah, yes. Yes. Mama. Okay, stay out of this gunk because there's a lot of nastiness here. Okay? Mama, can I turn? So all those leaves and a bit of gunk and soggy cardboard from my compost pile, it's all been mulched up with the lawnmower. Guys, can you do me a favour? Yeah, yeah. 
Can you go and start bringing all that cardboard down for me? Okay. See, I did the embarrassing uncle thing. I sent my nieces and my nephews to the shop um, to go and get some cardboard. So they brought whatever cardboard they could find from the shops. Take them. Okay, you just keep bringing them down. <laughs> so this is what this is what you get for having an uncle like me. Um, <laughs> come on, buddy. So there's a good few boxes here, and we'll start sheep mulching this and seeing what happens, seeing how far we get. So I've got the whole area sheep mulch now. The kids have been great, my nieces and nephews, because my niece has got the cardboard from the shops and um, the nephews helped me put the cardboard out, spread it out. I haven't got quite enough cardboard to do this bit, but because this end slopes quite a bit, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to put some kind of retaining wall in here, just down this side. And then once that retaining wall's in, then it'll stop everything from sliding down. So I think that's what I'll do. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I've got I've got loads of old bricks that I've gathered from when I had my chimney taken out. So I could quickly knock up a retaining wall just here and then sheet mulch the rest of this when I get get round to it. I'd have absolutely no problem sheet, you know, digging over something like this for the first time. But I just haven't got the energy right now uh, to dig this. So I'm not going to bother digging it. Um, yeah, if someone wanted to dig this for the first time. For me, it's not an issue at all. Dig it over the first time and then sheet mulch it and then go with this sort of pr procedure. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to plant pumpkins here. So it's going to suppress weeds. So any weeds like dandelions or dock that decides to creep in through that cardboard, then the foliage from the pumpkins and the squash will suppress that. There's still a lot of work on this side to be done. The big thing is that chicken house needs moving. Once that chicken house is moved, then it's going to open up so even more space and I'll be able to build my man cave and stuff. I'm disappointed about the hedge trimmer, but I think we've done a good job by taking, getting the sheet mulch and taking the leaves off the compost pile and getting that buried underneath. Now my next job is to start putting loads of wood chips on here. I think I'm going to go with about at least four or five inches of wood chips straight on top of here. So uh, that's going to be my next job, or the next job for the next few days. So <laughs> let, let, let's at least bring one wheelbarrow load over and then we've made a start, haven't we? To make things even more interesting, the kids have designed this little obstacle course for me. So they've decided to dig this two foot deep hole just in front of my wood chip pile. So I'm trying to navigate this hole, this ditch that they've dug. I mean, they dug a hole each, so Zaki dug the middle one, I think, and uh, Khadija and Toyib drank, dug the other ones. So now I'm trying to navigate this and get my wood chips from back there and not end up falling into the hole, which is just to make life a bit more interesting than it already is. <laughs> so that's three wheelbarrow loads brought up. So yeah, that's three wheelbarrow loads brought up and I'm getting a bit tired. Um, it's quite, it's probably about half past eight right now. Uh, the kids are laughing uh, and I'm knackered. I think, I think I need to get in, have a shower and get ready for bed. Day two of my working on this raised bed. I spent about three hours on it yesterday and I've managed to wheel over one, two, three, four, five, six, about eight or nine wheelbarrow loads of wood chips and I've got probably about another four or five wheelbarrow loads that I need to bring over to get this complete and ready for planting um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start bringing these logs that I've had a pear tree cut down last year and I'm going to bring those logs and I'm going to give it a nice border so I've moved one into position over on that side that bit at the end needs cutting off and let's see how it pans out. Um, so this garden's almost complete. Um, it's taken me about a day, a, a day's worth of work, all in all. So what I've done is we've packed it with wood chips. There's at least about eight inches of wood chips or so on here. So we've cut the grass and all these grass clippings, they're just going to go on top. If anyone did have concerns of uh, nitrogen loss or anything like that, 
just keep adding grass clippings like this and keep piling grass clippings on. So we've got about eight inches of wood chips. Some of it is broken down, some of it is not so broken down. So we've got a nice double, triple layer of cardboard on because I've got a lot of cooch grass here, a lot of dandelions. So there's a good chance of those things coming up over time. We've put a good couple of inches of green muck, uh, green, green material that we've blended up with the lawnmower and that's all gone on. Um, so we've actually got this garden planted up now. I've added this little arch that's going to add a bit of a nice feature. So the first couple of feet of this bed running down this side, we're going to just use it as a flower bed. So we'll get some sunflowers and we'll get some sweet peas climbing up here and it'll just add fragrance and maybe some runner beans as well. Mix the um, ornamentals and the edibles together. So we'll get some runner beans and some sweet peas up here as well. And it'll add a bit of uh, color and a bit of flavor and, it, and it'll just be nice. Um, so let me show you what I've done and what I've planted in here. I mean, like I say, I started this project yesterday um, and within a few hours, we'd got it mulched. Uh, we got the wood chips down. And today what I've spent is getting on the borders down and getting the frames in place and getting everything else in place. So let me show you what I've got in. So if I start at the very back, I've got some pumpkins in there. Uh, there's a couple of pumpkins in there. Come a little bit further on. There's a, the one with the yellow leaves it was struggling in the pot. I mean, it was just outgrowing the pot and, it, and it's having a bit of nutrient deficiency there. But once it finds its roots and gets established into there, I'm expecting the, that plant to fully recover and be perfectly fine. So it's a Okuchi curry in there. And then in the middle, we've got these runner beans planted in this teepee, just a few bamboo canes tied together. I mean, this is how I planted them last year. They're still t tied together. Uh, so I just pulled them so I just took the same frame that we had last year and just moved it into this place. And I've got the bamboos, um, I've got the uh, runner beans climbing up there. That'll be nice once the runner beans climb up and then the pumpkins can just roam about all over this place. And I'll keep just layering grass clippings and anytime I clean the chicken house or chicken coop, all that bedding is just going to go straight on here and it'll all break down. And just Back here, I've got more pumpkins, more squash. So yeah, I've got sweet corn in the middle. What I'll do down this side is I'll put some breeze blocks like stepping stones. So I've got a path so I can cut the hedge when I need to. And in front of them, I'll just line up my pots like this. So I'll just put a line of plant pots so my tomatoes and everything can just go down this side. At the moment, we've just got them piled up outside the chicken coop. So I've just, I've put this path in diagonal and all it is is a, is a plank of wood. Um, and that'll just mean that we can get access to most of the areas without walking on the bed. I mean, this wood chip bed won't compact, so don't worry about it, even if you do walk, end up walking on it. Um, because of what it is, it, it's not going to compact. Um, my wife's just suggested I put a slab or something down here. Now, what I want to do is I want to find a way of any, any time that it rains, the water that drain, flows down this path, I want to uh, somehow channel it from that footpath and channel it into this garden and fill this garden with water. So I'll figure out how to do that. Maybe, maybe put a line of cement, just a little bit, uh, just, just like a little line of cement to divert the water into here. But we'll figure that out when we get there. And maybe I'll fit a slab in here just so it's nice and it doesn't get muddy and it looks a little bit pretty for when we come in. Uh, or maybe even even a little bit of uh, some sort of low growing plant that you can just walk on that might that doesn't need any maintenance but this is a really quick garden that we've got really you know we've got this garden going really quickly we've made it really quickly we've got it and we've got it planted really quickly so it's something that anyone can do if you can get your hands on some wood chips they're absolutely brilliant stuff to use and if you can't get wood chips save up your grass clippings, save up your uh, leaves, save up your any sort of organic matter that you can get hold of. And you can do the same thing with grass clippings and same thing with leaves and stuff like that. The thing about leaves and grass clippings, it'll just break down a little bit faster. But all in all, I think this is gonna be a good garden. It's a much better transformation from what it was to what it is now. So you give me your feedback on what you think. Has it? Has it made a massive improvement compared to what it was? I think it has. Let me know what you think. So I'm going to leave it there for this one. So don't forget to hit the like for me and subscribe for regular updates and more videos like this. And I'll leave it there for this one. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.